Quito firefighters were on Tuesday night continuing their efforts to quell a blaze that started earlier in the day on the outskirts of the Ecuadorian capital. Quito Mayor Pablo Munoz said only a few houses had been affected so far, with no reported causalities and two injured firefighters. More than 100 families have been evacuated from the surrounding areas as a precaution, he said, with some road closures also in place. Authorities have not yet found the fire's origin, but man-made fires have been spreading in nearby areas of Quito in recent weeks, while wildfires have also engulfed parts of the country. El fuego creció más, señores, miren. Creció más el fuego. Ahora es una cosa de locos. El fuego creció una barbaridad. Prácticamente los árboles hicieron mierda ya. Perdón la expresión. Es una locura. Esto es una hoguera prácticamente. Una hoguera. Qué locura. Ya estos cipreses que están aquí ya van a marchar ya. El fuego va a llegar a estos de aquí ya. Ya nada falta que llegue aquí ya. Y tenemos en este momento más de 100 familias evacuadas, fundamentalmente por razones preventivas. Ya hemos tenido la contaminación del de fuego en pocas viviendas ventajosamente, pero ha habido. No tenemos la contaminación oficial en este momento, debo decirles que sí son pocas. No tenemos ningún reporte de persona que haya eh, fallecido. Tenemos dos heridos que provienen más bien del cuerpo de bomberos de Quito por una tarea de, de evacuación. Hurricane John struck Mexico's southern Pacific coast Monday night with fierce winds and heavy rainfall after strengthening from a tropical storm to major hurricane in a matter of hours. John's rapid intensification caught authorities off guard as they scrambled to update their guidance to residents and keep pace with the stronger storm. The U.S. National Hurricane Center said John had rapidly strengthened into a Category 3 hurricane and had maximum sustained winds of 120 miles per hour at landfall. Forecasters projected John would also likely batter nearby tourist hubs Acapulco and Puerto Escondido before turning into a tropical storm while making its way inland. The unexpected surge in strength caught scientists, authorities and residents of the area by surprise, something AccuWeather senior meteorologist Matt Benz attributed to warmer oceans, which add fuel to the hurricanes. As a result, surprise surges in hurricane strength have become increasingly common, Ben said. Things were tense in Oaxaca's coastal cities on Monday shortly after the announcement as residents and businesses were bracing themselves. After authorities met Monday afternoon to plan their response, the governments of Guerrero and Oaxaca states announced they would suspend classes in a number of coastal zones on Tuesday. Oaxaca's governor said the state government had evacuated 3,000 people and set up 80 shelters. 
It also said it sent out 1,000 military and state personnel to address the emergency. Benz expressed concern that the storm could slow once it hits land, leaving the storm hovering over the coastal zone, which could cause even greater damage. Through Thursday, John is expected to produce 15 to 30 centimeters of rain across coastal areas of Chiapas state with more in isolated areas. In areas along and near the Oaxaca coast to southeast Guerrero, between 25 and 50 centimeters of rain with isolated higher totals can be expected through Thursday. that rapid intensification has occurred more frequently in modern times as opposed to uh, back in historical record. Um, so that's telling us there's something going on there. Pues ahorita estamos protegiendo los cristales del negocio para que cuando llegue el agua, el viento fuerte, que no se rompen los cristales. You know, it'll have a lingering impact beyond just the next couple of days. Uh, you're going to feel the impacts of the storm probably from the next, you know, couple of weeks to a couple of months.